Hi, baby. You coming up? Want to say hey to everybody for Vlogmas Day 8? Okay, come on. Okay, I pick you up. Go here, baby. Oh. Hey, everyone, and welcome back. It is Vlogmas Day 8, and Daisy wanted to do the official Vlogmas greeting. Jeff and I have just been hanging out all morning and doing some chores around the house. And we just walked up to the front and picked up a package. One of my Black Friday purchases has come in, so I just thought I would open it on camera. So, let's get this big old box Ugh. from DSW. One of the things I really needed on Black Friday was a pair of winter boots. The last pair of winter boots I got, we bought while we were in New York City, and they were not a super expensive pair. They lasted a really long time. They were very warm. They did their job, but in recent months, they have not been waterproof anymore. And that is not great in North Carolina winter because it's more wet than snowy here. So I had to buy a new pair. And of course I waited till Black Friday weekend because you gotta get the best deals. So I bought a pair from DSW. Oh, they sent me a free bag because I guess that's one of the specials they were running on Black Friday weekend. If you spent over a certain amount, you got a free, bye, see ya. You got a free tote bag. Oh, this is cool. It's like a flannel one. This is cute. Whoa, this is like large and in charge and it's got a zipper on the bottom. Oh my God, this would be such a cute gym bag because you could put your shoes in this bottom part and then put your gym clothes in the top part that's cool this is a really cool like weekend bag or gym bag i love it and i got it for free okay cool next thing are my boots Let me put this big box down here okay so these are a little bit different from my other boots i usually like ones with a zip and i like them to be not a part of my outfit like i want them to be as inconspicuous as possible i'm not really a winter boots as a fashion statement person but i went in a little bit of a different direction this time and i got these sort of lumberjacky looking storm by cougar boots they have a little logo on the side that has a maple leaf on it so i'm assuming this is a canadian brand because one can only assume from a red maple leaf that something is from canada um, waterproof, slightly over the ankle, fuzz around the top boots. You know what? I'm going to try these on anyway, so let's try them on on camera. Okay, so these are the new boots. Let me know what you guys think of these. These are a new, a new type of look for me. I'm not used to this whole like lumberjack vibes strange coming from the girl who wears a plaid shirt every day i know but i kind of like them what do you think they're very very warm and i like that the tongue of the boots is like not separate from the boot so cold air and water actually can't get in which is wonderful and they're actually taller than i thought they would be which is good because sometimes here when it gets really wet in the winter, like you need a tall pair because there's puddles everywhere. But these are pretty cool. I like them. Not bad for $63 on Black Friday. So now that we have a actual waterproof pair of winter boots in the house, it is time to ceremonially retire <laughs> these nasty things that I've been wearing for the last several years. You're muddy, you're worn down, but you did your job for two or three years until you got a giant hole in the bottom and started letting disgusting North Carolina rain swamp water in on my socks. I got my money's worth out of these. They were less than $100. So for North Carolina weather where you only need these two months out of the year, I think that's pretty great. Thank you for your service. Goodbye. All right, everyone, we are back at the desk for today's productivity slash business entrepreneurship chat. Today, as the title of the video would suggest, I am setting up my 2020 planner. Now, 
The planner I chose for this year was the Simplified Planner in the daily version. This is my second year using this, and I cannot tell you how helpful this layout has been now that I'm working for myself. I used to use the Erin Condren Life Planner, which I liked a lot, but I found that when I made the transition to working for myself totally from home, I needed this layout. And the reason I like this layout so much is because it has an hourly calendar, a to-do list section, and plenty of room to write notes on every single day. Plus it has a monthly view for each month. Perfectly simple. So the layout works really well for me and I know that a lot of you really like goal planners and planners with a lot of extra, you know, prompts and information in them. I just find that to be distracting for myself. I have my own goal planning system. I do not need help. Um, you know, splitting my goals into tasks and things like that, I can put my goal planning system into this planner. So that is not a problem for me. That is why I love this. I love the simplicity of it. I love the layout. It's very elegant. And I chose the blue stripe cover for this year because I thought it was very professional looking. Blue is my favorite color, so why not? I had the watercolor floral for 2019. I loved this, but nothing really struck my fancy that was sort of you know, girly and fancy like this. So I chose the blue pinstripe and I think this is equally beautiful, just a totally different look. So the first thing I like to do when I'm setting up my planner for the new year is find my old perpetual calendar from my Erin Condren Life Planner because this has everybody's birthdays, anniversaries, all my important dates in here. And I like to make sure that I put these dates into my calendar right ahead so I don't forget anybody's birthday or any important days. I'm just gonna go ahead and start with January and pull up my perpetual calendar and see who's got birthdays in January. What do you know? Jeff's birthday is in January. Actually, you know what? I have some really cute stickers. Now, I used to put a ton of stickers in my planner because it made me want to use my planner more. Now, I kind of like to keep it a little more simple, but I do have the um, goal setting sticker book from Cultivate What Matters, and I have an old Erin Condren sticker book that's got a lot of cute stuff in it. So I like to use this to mark special days like birthdays and stuff just because, you know, why not have a little bit of flair in your monthly calendar. So I'm going to see if I can find a birthday sticker and put it on for Jeff's birthday because who else deserves a birthday sticker more than my lovely husband? So let's use a cupcake. So I'm not going to do this on camera. You guys know how to write in a planner. Once I get all of my birthdays in, the next thing I like to do is put in any predetermined dates. If you know you have weddings to go to, vacations booked, things like that, make sure you put your travel plans and your pre-booked dates in your calendars as well so you don't double book yourself. The last thing you want to do is get to like the wedding you were invited to in October and realize you double booked that weekend. So we actually do have a wedding in October to go to, so I'm going to make sure that that's in here as well. And any travel you want to make sure to take off, go ahead and put that in your calendar so you don't book anything for work or for your business during when you should be traveling. Make sure that that is a priority and it's already put in your calendar. And then the final thing I like to do to set up my planner for 2020 is to have a goal card in my planner. And I like to have it on a little... Um, paper clip and clipped to the pages on my planner. I write all of my yearly goals on an index card. This is something I started doing a couple of months ago and I love this. I have all of my yearly goals on an index card and I keep it paper clipped to the inside of my planner so I can look at it multiple times a day. The key for this is to be able to see it and read it and internalize those goals every single day because the more they are top of mind, the more your brain is gonna to start to look for ways to make them happen. You're gonna use something called the reticular activating system in your brain. And the best way to describe this is think about when you buy a car and then all of a sudden that's the only type of car you see on the road. That is that effect in your brain. And that's the same thing that happens when you see and read your goals every single day because the more you read them, the more your brain starts to recognize and point out to you opportunities to make this stuff happen. So I like to have my 2020 goals on an index card and I have a page marker. It's just a paper clip so I can easily flip to the page that I'm on. And then I'm actually gonna put this 
upside down because I'm not ready to share my goals with you guys yet. I will just take the index card and paper clip it to the page that I'm on. So that way when I see my tasks and my to do's, I can also read my goals on that little card. And when your planner is closed, it makes it easy to flip to the correct page. So that is my easy, simple three step process for setting up my planner for the new year. There is no special time that you need to do this, although I would recommend that you do it sometime during December because hi, 2020 is around the corner, it is next month. Um, I just start doing this whenever I start having things that need to go into the calendar for the following year. So I already have a few follow-up dates and things to do in January that have to go in here. So that's why I'm setting it up now because I need it to be ready because I have to use it right away. So I'm going to do that. I'm probably going to watch some Vlogmas videos while I do it, make it a fun little uh, activity. And then for the rest of the night, I think we're going to relax. Jeff has told me that he wants to go to bed early, which is totally fine with me because your girl was falling asleep on the couch like earlier today without meaning to. <laughs> so I'm just going to do this and then I may take a really hot shower because that sounds amazing. I know this vlog is a little bit shorter today, but that's okay. Sometimes Setting up your planner is the only thing interesting that happens in a single day, and that's Vlogmas, baby. So I will be back here tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I almost ended this vlog without doing the advent calendar. I can't believe I almost ended this vlog without doing the most important Vlogmas activity of the day. Vlogmas day eight, today's ornament. Today's ornament is the candle, also a good one. This one can go right here. If I could get it on with one hand. All right, that was a lot faster than yesterday. We can straighten it out. There we go. Advent calendar complete. Vlogmas day eight, also complete. Thank you guys for watching this quickie quick little Vlogmas, and I will see you back here tomorrow for Vlogmas day nine. Bye.